Welcome to Gossip About Gossip, powered by Hedera Hashgraph. In each episode, we'll cut through the hype of blockchain promises and explore real-world examples of organizations creating the next generation of decentralized applications, which will bring trust back to the internet for us all. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the latest episode of Gossip About Gossip a podcast where we talk about real-world applications of distributed ledger technology. My name is Zenobia Godschalk, and I'm the SVP of Communications here at Swirls Labs, helping to grow the Hedera ecosystem. Today, I am joined by Meng Chan Shu, who is with RackDAO. Hi, Meng. How are you? Hi, I'm good. I'm good. Good, good. So RackDAO is a new name to um, you know the Hedera community. Can you tell us a little bit about... Um, the company and uh, why you guys do what you do. Sure. Thanks. Thanks, Anami. Uh So Ragdao basically is a free zone uh, located in United Arab Emirates. And Ragdao basically one of the main thing for Ragdao is which stand for Ras Al Kaima, Digital Asset Oasis. So is Rak. Sorry, say that again. What was the R A K part? R A K is. Ras Al Khaima is actually one of the Shekdom in the United Arab Emirates. And Ras Dao basically stands for Ras Al Khaima, Digital Asset Oasis. So it's a it's a free zone uh, gazetted um, by the uh, Sheikh of Ras Al Khaima, where uh, we are the only and I think the world first free zone that specialize in uh, providing web free uh, uh, community. So all the companies that registered with the RAPDAO uh, is literally from the uh, web three community, uh, including uh, DLT, uh, some of the wallet uh, companies, uh, we have AI, we have NFT, we have Metaverse, we have different uh, sorts of, uh, I- including digital mining, uh, cyber securities. Those are the companies that we are we are uh, inviting them to uh, come to the free zone. And what does it mean to participate in the free zone? Okay, participate means that uh, uh, participants looking for a company to set up here, uh, especially on the Web3 side, they will be able to, they are close to about 170 activities uh, on the uh, free zone for participants, for community to actually look at setting up their companies. So one of the, one of the main things for that is, you know, for Web3 community, the, it's, it's very difficult to, let's say, open a bank account uh, with the uh, Web3 companies. So what we do is we wanted to narrow the gap, uh, to close out the gap by offering that where uh, in Ras Al Khaimah, uh, part of the United Arab Emirates, there are a couple of uh, banks that literally uh, it's majority owned by the Sheikh itself. They will be able to uh, help out uh, in terms of opening bank accounts for Rakdao's company. So almost like an incubator, if you are a technology company in one of these areas, you know, you're looking for support, you're looking to sort of have a sandbox where you can experiment and grow your technology. Yeah, exactly. So uh, one of the things that we are quite uh, delighted to have, we are true to have is uh, to have Hydera uh, HBAR Foundation to join us. Uh, there was an announcement uh, yesterday, which is on the uh, 3rd of uh, July, where HBAR announced to have a cooperation with Rakao in terms of uh, helping out um, the community setting up uh, more web companies here in Rakao and at the same time, uh, probably look at uh, more collaborations between uh, Hydera and uh, Rakao. And so what kinds of Web3 companies are you looking for? Do you have any specific areas of focus or is it a pretty broad remit? Wow. Uh, there are close to 170 activities. 
I I okay. I, I couldn't look, remember everyone, but it <laughs> it ranges from uh, venture studios all the way to the uh, software development part, uh, the DLT part, uh, the mining part as well. So very long list, I guess. Okay. And you said, um, you know, so the government is pro providing some support in terms of some of the um, government owned banks. Are there other ways that they are sort of encouraging, um, you know, entrepreneurs and encouraging growth in the area? We are actually in the midst of talking to uh, several, uh, you know, participants to be setting up their incubator, setting up their labs here as well. Uh, hence, we are talking to uh, Hydra uh, about it uh, in terms of pushing more uh, Web3 companies coming into the uh, Ragtow space. So what I, what I felt, I, I've been an OG since uh, 2017. And I, I, and I guess uh, the thing that I really uh, look forward is having uh, a free zone like Ragdow to be able to push more Web3 companies, uh, getting them uh, up and running, putting them into different blockchains so that, you know, it will grow the whole uh, ecosystem. And that's what the mission is it's all about. And so if a company is interested in participating, um, can you walk us through that process? Sure. It's good. So uh, basically, uh, those companies, if they are interested, they will register with uh, Rugdown. So after registering the, the Rugdown company, they will be able to look at uh, participating in, in different types of uh, uh, programs that we, we look at, uh, including... Um, I mean, those are the companies that we have not really uh, publicly uh, made available, but we are we are talking to a few uh, labs for them to be able to push through. So they form a company in Rockdown, and then they grow from there, and that's that's the the main purpose of it. All right. Um, and, you know, we, you talked a little bit about the partnership with the foundation. Um, and so can you share, you know, what kinds of um, support and services are you hoping, you know, are you hoping for them to provide, um, you know, is there training about Hedera? Uh, what kinds of activities do you envision? I think what we discuss uh, with the Hedera Foundation is primarily um, you know, incubate more projects so that uh, Hydera will be able to grant, put some grants on it as well. Uh, the foundation will be able to push um, some of the grants into these companies and get into the Hydera uh, community. I think that's that's important. Second of all is also Hydera site will be able to push more uh, development companies to rock down. And, and that's, that's a very good win-win uh, for, for both uh, organization and community. All right. And you said you're an OG, but, you know, if you're looking forward to the next, you know, 12 to 18 months, what do you see ahead, Haraktau? Yeah, probably less than that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, just just also to introduce myself, I'm Meng. I'm, I'm the head of business development for Raktau. I've uh, been an OG since 2017, uh, managed to look at the, the two bull runs. Uh, so I'm looking forward for the third bull run coming probably next 12 months. All right. Well, Meng, thank you so much for joining us. Um, we hope, you know, that a lot of folks will join you all in the in the region. And, you know, it sounds like a wonderful initiative to support companies and, and help and incubate and grow and develop them there. So thank you for joining us today. Thanks. Thanks so much. Thank you. Appreciate it.